Hi guys, and welcome to this first episode of Decarnation. <laughs> so the game devs of Decarnation gave me the opportunity to be able to play this game for you guys. And I'm really excited. I heard great things about this game because it has been out for some time. Um, and I'm really excited to just dip my hands into this finally. Um, I've, been, I've been meaning to play this a lot earlier, but last month was just compacted with so many things <laughs> i just didn't have the time to uh get to this but i'm really excited to start this game out and just check it out so let's get started also i know nothing about the game <laughs> oh decarnation sorry kid this is not the game for you but why grandma uh, okay. I'll play something else. What? Decarnation is a psychological horror game with mature subject matter and imagery. It is not suitable for young audiences. Player discretion is advised. Ah, okay. Oh, I love... Oh, okay, okay. I love that whole interaction there. The 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 grandmama telling the kid, like, no, this is not for you unless you want to be mentally fucked. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, yes, continue. Oh, off to a good start. Let's go. decarnation Ooh. okay so it looks like based on how this layout is i may need to move my camera over to the other side so give me one second all right so i have the camera set so this should look a lot better for you guys <laughs> but yes decarnation Ooh, this is very interesting like i said i know nothing about the game um i believe this is a rpg maker game which is very exciting so yeah let's just dive right into it Paris, June 1989 workshop. Oh, look at my butt cheeks. How I move. Oh. You're 29, right? Right. Um. Can I move? I just wanted to say I'm really excited to be here to experience this. Thank you, Gloria. No, your name is Gloria. Let's say we were lucky. Lucky? That I found you in time, in your cabaret. What do you mean, lucky in time? Before everything falls apart. Falls apart? The other day, I came across the first girl to pose for me. We weren't even 20 at, at, at that time. Ah, Fanette, as bright as the sun, a Botticelli come to life. Y you know, I, I, I think I said that word right. Botticelli? <laughs> and now, look what's left. A decrepit troll in clown's makeup. I'd like to take a break. Are, are, are you calling her a decrepit troll or are you calling yourself a, a decrepit troll? Like, what? Covered in cheap trinkets, clutching a little dog to divert the eye. It makes me sick. Um, sir. Act one, the dancer. Four months later, Gloria's apartment. Ooh, your apartment is nice and cozy. Oh, uh... Yes, who is it? Seriously, it's Joy. All right, okay, um, I'm assuming that's a girl. Ooh, what's in here? Don't have much of an appetite. Gloria's dream diary. 
Used to be a cool idea, but now it's just where I write my grocery list. Interesting, Gloria. I love how cozy your place is, though. My morning face sure is the worst. Interesting. I hope she likes it. Oh, 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 it's a she. Okay, okay, yes. Joy first, shower second. All right. Oui, the show I performed this summer. A sexy twist on French Revolution. American tourists loved it. Swan Lake, 1950. Mom was prima ballerina. I didn't even exist back then. Oh, ooh, okay, so performer line. Oh, let's go. Call now and save up to 50% off on a Bye Bye Under Eye Anti-Aging Concealer. Daily use will be fatal, or er, vital, for your all-new way to face the world. Um, excuse you? <laughs> um... Could you repeat the fatal part, please? Well, hello, Cupcake. Oh, hi, Gloria. You look so cool. Oh! Nervous? Think it'll be crowded? Joy, I didn't get off work until 2 in the morning. Go easy on me with the questions, okay? Oops, sorry. But yeah, I'm slightly anxious. Mostly curious to see what it looks like. Well, I imagine a statue of you will look... Like you, probably. You know what I mean. What will it say about me? What will people see in her? And will it make college girls weak in the knees? I don't know why I bother. <laughs> sure you do. Come on. Get ready so we can go. I'll wait outside. Ooh. Ooh. Omelette du fromage. <laughs> Croissant. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Ooh. Oh, I love this song. Okay. What? Okay, let, let's let's continue. <laughs> oh, I love this song. But it looks like based on how like this game's gonna be like, I could probably shift my camera to the other side for next episode, but I'll leave it like this for now just in case. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Ooh. Are we putting on our our clothes? Okay, let's go. Oh, yes, the perfume. Yes. Ooh. Oh, you look so fabulous. Oh, let's get going. Oh, I almost forgot the little blue box for Joy. Oh. Oops. I forgot about that. Come here, you. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> All right, let's go, Gloria. Want to grab a cab? Sure. Oh, okay. I'm just making sure, like, it's a... And to think some people have kids on purpose. You get the good with the bad. Every time I see her cradling the baby, she looks content, fulfilled. She's got to make a good show of it. Keep her spirits up. Otherwise, she'd never make it through 20 years of cleaning up after it. Right. You think they'll have champagne? At 10 in the morning? Ooh, decarnation. I'm so curious what this is about. St. Louis Foundation for Art, 10.30 a.m. <laughs> I'm so curious. Can you imagine a statue of me between uh, Toulouse-Lautrec? 
<laughs> I totally butchered that. And, uh, Ma Giuliani? No pressure, huh? Right, yeah, I am going to butcher all of these French words. Relax, Mona Gloria. It's gonna be stunning. Right. Right, okay. Wow. Um. It looks like a boomerang. What about over here? Oh, you follow me? <gasps> I haven't been here since high school art class. Interesting. Oh. Fine Arts Magazine, September 1989. Petrus, feeding on the female form. The poster for this exhibition, In the Flesh. Right, so that, that sounds kind of concerning, In the Flesh. Mostly colored dots, fruit baskets, and women clothing optional. Oh, and this one's a famous piece of pop art. A big ravioli can or something. A donation box. And make a donation? Not sure. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Better than nothing, exactly. Hello. One adult and one student. Well, actually... I'm the model for the Petra statue. Maybe he left a note? My name's Gloria. Congratulations, Gloria. But there's no such note here. Oh, I thought that maybe... All I have are tickets... Are you for real? She posed naked for that guy for three days straight. She's a famous dancer, you know. Just let us in. Absolutely. After you've paid... Whoever your famous dancer friend chooses to expose herself to is none of my concern. You... It, it's okay, Joy. This one's on me. It's not okay, Gloria. That artist jerk didn't even pay you for your time. The least he could have done was buy the tickets. Here. And these are for you and your passionate friend. Enjoy your visits. Right, okay, that's already a red flag. Um, it's not her fault, Joy. Gloria. You'd let a slug roll o You let a slug roll over you? What do you mean? Look, I have a gift for you too, this blue box. It's probably a ring. I'm calling it now. She's gonna propose. It's a ring. Wow, they sure drew a crowd a a a and a half. I'm fine with that. He must have had a good time last night. Could be a black swan, a black swan customer. Take it from an expert. This is total bullshit. Right. Ooh, I like the the music vibes though. John Everett. M Malice, Ophelia, 18 1852. A woman immersed in a pond. If she's not dead, she's got me fooled. It's violent, but kind of sexy too, in a way. Right. Hello. All these disturbing images, they seem like they're stimulating something deep inside this kid. Francis Bacon, study for a... Crucifixion, 1944. What a gruesome creature, like some kind of blind beast. Paul McCarthy, painter, year unknown. Everything about this is gross. What kind of sicko comes up with this? Abram Abramovic and Ule, light dark, 1977. A man and a woman slapping one another over and over. Their pain is plain to see. Right. Interest. What is this exhibition? Blah, blah, blah. Transformative her. Men. Eudix? 
why is art talk always so pretentious? Because you, you got to feel the, pretent the pretentiousness inside your bones. <laughs> the last line reads, we came for the impressionist disappointed. Right, okay. You have anything to say? Hmm? Oh, nothing, okay. All right, let's continue on. A red rose. It looks way too pretty to be real. L looks like my tax law professor. What a psycho. Right. Jean... Uh... Uh, that person's name. <laughs> the lock, 1777. A man and a woman, a red curtain and a heavy door. Something murky emanates from this painting. Rembrandt, the an anatomy lesson of Dr. of Dr. Tulp, 1632. Men in black robes and white collars standing over a naked corpse. The poor guy is being dissected. We the rise of abstraction marked the fall of art. Right, old man. Okay. Let's continue on this exhibit. Very interesting. Hans Bellmer, the doll, 1965. Two pairs of hips and two vulva with a big round belly in the middle. Hard to say if it's a critique of society or the artist's fantasy. Right, okay. David Keith Lynch. Bob loves Sally until she is blue in the face. Year unknown. Okay, that is, that's very disturbing. Um, hello? Is the blue for boredom, depression, or asphyxia? I, I, I think it's the latter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the latter. Takato y Yamamoto. Nightmare, year unknown. See, I like how I can say the Japanese names perfectly fine, but when you, you go into the French names, I can't. <laughs> I can't at all. A skeleton in a kimono caressing a woman. You can't tell by her face whether she's frightened or not. She's probably both, probably excited and frightened at the same time. <laughs> I guess my fancy bronze self should be just in here. All right, let's see your bronze self. Raoul Hausman, the spirit of our time, 1920. A wooden head, impassive and adorned with mechanical odds and ends. Right, okay, and then this one. Augusta Rodden, head of the Tragic Muse, 1891. This one is mes is mesmerizing. I can't tell if her eyes are open, closed, or just gone. Right, um, why is there a black figure at, at, at my body? <laughs> Here she is, Bronze Gloria in all her glory. Wait, is that her talking, or is... Wait, what? Um, hello? He... I... Excuse you, sir. Oh, really? Joy. In your opinion, is this one or two women's bodies? It's for my stats on naked women in museums. <laughs> oh my god. It depends what you consider to be the relative value of a um, mint versus a mug. You know, I'm not surprised to hear you say that. Joy! Gloria. Oh my god, she got so angry. I... I think I'd like to go now. What, already? Let me check out your statue first. Don't bother, she's not that interesting. Doesn't have much tit to speak of either. Let's go, uh, hello, old man. This crusty old ass, it, it, can I go back inside? I, I, I can't. 
Okay, she doesn't want to. Okay. This crusty ass old man. Leaving so soon. Yes, I'm leaving. Was the statue really that bad? Gloria, please. Seriously, what's going on with you? It's nothing. I just want, want to get out of here. But your statue... Forget the statue. The real thing is standing right here. You are so excited to see it. Now you're just going to run away? That makes no sense. Just leave it. I, I want to do something. I don't know. Something fun. Hold on. Did I miss something? No. No. I just got a little worked up and... Look. Let's do something fun this afternoon. You and me. Maybe go shopping or... I don't know. We can just chill at my place. Watch a movie. Not today, Glow. I've got to keep grinding away at this thesis paper. But I'll come see you... tonight? At the Swan? Sure. Stop by my dressing room before the show. Cool. Catch you later, Glow. Catch you later, Cupcake. Cordy Leon, swimming pool, 11.30 a.m., nice, okay. Oh, is that us? I think that's us. Or not, okay, no. That's the problem with you. Everything has to be so complicated with you. How are you moving? I just want us to have a good time. But sooner or later, you bring it all down. It's a shame. Running from the past, afraid from the future? Wait. Hush, kiddo. Get back to your books. Oh, those are intrusive thoughts. Okay. I think. She drowned. Like, what is... I, I'm confused. <laughs> Black Swan Cabaret, 9.30 p.m. I'm, I'm actually confused at that. Oh, you look so pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, dearest something for this evening's final performance. The Black Swan humbly presents for your pleasure. The mesmerizing. The mysterious and magnificent. Lady Gloria! Ooh. Ooh. Yes, ooh, get it, Gloria. Oh, I'm a master at DDR. Woo! I messed up that part, but that's fine. <laughs> I wonder if, like, I get anything out of this, though. If I get, like, a perfect score or something. Or just a full combo. That would be great. I know I missed my full combo potential, but that's fine. Ah, I got it this time. Let's go. Ooh, I got it this time. Four stars, baby. Uh, let's go. Knock, knock. He missed the show. Sorry, I, I got caught up in catching up. How'd it go? The audience was 
thrilled, as usual. I kinda needed that after this morning. The museum? Yeah. That hag at the counter was a total cunt. No, I mean you, Joy. You were being so... Distant. Distant? You're the one who decided to... To spill... Or to split and wouldn't say why. I asked you to spend the afternoon with me. I told you, I have a thesis to finish, and it's important. Sure, your thesis. That's what it was. I thought you were supposed to be the mature one. What's with the tantrum? Tantrum? You're the baby here, not me. Um, Gloria, you see, Joey is not in the wrong in this. From what I observed here, she is totally in the right to be acting the way that she is because you are not communicating. You need to communicate with her, <laughs> please. I don't know why I said that. It was stupid. Stupid, but kind of funny. Tam, Joy, I... Yeah? I have something for you. <gasps> is she gonna propose? Please, please, please propose. What is it? Go on, it won't bite. Wait, what's this key? It's to my apartment, so you can come and go as you please. Wow, uh, this is a bit of a surprise. I hope you use it. I hope you feel about me the way I do about you. <laughs> Ah, Gloria, you're still here. Hey! How's it going, Mr. Director? <laughs> What's this? Why are you here? Because class let out a few hours ago? And don't you have a home to go to? Um, hello, Aldo? Can you not be a dick, <laughs> please? Okay, roger that. I'm out of here. I thought, aren't we going home together? Look, I'm beat and I've still got tons of work to do. I'll call you tomorrow. To tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, promise. All right, bye. Glorious Gloria, you sure lived up to your name tonight. Thanks, Aldo. <laughs> Such energy and the precision of your every move. What's going on, Aldo? When you start with the compliments, I know it means something's up. What? No, no, not at all. <laughs> Good. So... Well... I thought we could have a little check-in. A chat about this past year and the next. It'll be your te your tent with the swan. Can we leave it for another day? Right now, I just want to put my pants on and go home. Of course, Gloria, of course. There's no rush. Thanks, Aldo. Actually, let's do it tomorrow afternoon. Just to get it out of the way. Yeah, you see, um, Aldo, you, I don't trust you already. Sure thing, boss. Gloria's building, 11 o'clock p.m., right. Okay. Oh. Sounds like the baby is finally asleep. He's got the right idea. Mm-hmm. Right, but what does what does this dude want to talk about? Their door is cracked from the last time that asshole kicked it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wonder how good he was at conducting. Not that it would make any difference for him now. See, I like how the uh, doormats are... are, uh... symbolized. So this is the baby. I'm assuming this is romance i don't know and then this is music um gardening most likely sleep tight gran 
Brights, okay. Oh, flowers at our doorstep. Hmm? Joy? Huh, not even a card. Doesn't seem like Joy anyway. Probably another regular from the cabaret. Again. How do they know where you live, though? A bouquet of flowers? How cliche. Right. Um, you see, Gloria, that's not very nice to do. Oh, like strange night blooms, these plants then produce flowers of the most vivid colors and strong scents. Moths, bats, and beetles have a great time among those while the rest of the garden is peacefully asleep. That's nice. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus Christ, that is so loud! Hello? Miss Gloria? Yeah? Who is it? I'm calling you on behalf of Master St. Louis. St. Louis? Like the St. Louis group? Precisely. My name is Lawrence Carnot. Carnot. Laurent Connaught, okay. Our President Harv St. Louis would be very pleased to make your acquaintance. Your president wants to meet me? He's seen your performance more than once. Mr. St. Louis is surely your most enthusiastic admirer and a rather significant patron of the arts. Painting, architecture, urban arts, and of course, dancing. Have you received the flowers he sent you? Yes, I have. They're right here in all their... splendor. Perfect! When would you be available to meet Mr. St. Louis? Louis. St. St. Louis. <laughs> For a discussion about arts and your future endeavors. Uh, that's kind of him, but I already have a boss. A pretty greedy one, for sure, but I'm happy at, at the Black Swan. I'm sorry if I haven't been quite clear. It isn't simply a job that is being offered. It's a whole new step in your career as an artist. You'll have the opportunity to create your own show to your liking. You'll have a significant budget and complete creative freedom. Oh, isn't that every artist's dream? We'll have a showing in Paris, of course, as well as several European capitals, then New York, Los Angeles, and Tokyo. I've always dreamed of going to New York. Strolling along Broadway, seeing the Statue of Liberty. When would you be a a available for a more in-depth discussion with Mr. St. Louis? Uh, never, because we're not going to take this, right, Gloria? Just hang up. Mr. Bost, just hang up. Actually, I don't think it'll be possible. I'm sorry. I'm not the artist your boss imagines. Thank you anyway for considering me- Wait, Gloria. I- Mr. St. Louis. We just want to help you. Yeah, okay, yeah, you, uh-huh. It, it, it's clear this is- this is clearly you. Right. At least take my number. If you change your mind, I'm at your disposal. All right, if- It'll keep you from getting into trouble with your boss. I'll take your number. And thank him for the flowers. They were a wonderful surprise. I have a bad feeling about all, all, all of this. Joy. I may have rushed into giving her a copy of my keys. All right, I'll just leave her alone for two or three days. Right. Mr. St. Louis. Oh, this is her thoughts. Okay. Aldo. I'm packing the crowds in his space. I should 30% Aldo or I'm out of here. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay, the text is going by really fast. That guy in, in the gallery. Why, why was I so scared of him? I should have grabbed him by the balls and dragged him away from the pedestal, kicking and screaming. Mom. I hope the weather will be nice enough to sit outside. And I hope she won't pester me about all that marriage and 
career things. 30 year olds soon. It's gonna be so cool. They'll call me ma'am all the time. And ask me why I haven't got kids. My statue. Is she happy in her exhibition chamber? If I could, I'd install her in a lovely glade far from Paris. The groceries. I need to go shopping tomorrow, definitely. Tampons, bacon, vegetables, and tiramisu. I've earned it. What time is it? it, it it's time to get up. <laughs> Joy. Mr. St. Louis. Why me? It's not like I'm some out outstanding ballerina. Sorry, my lord, but I'll pass. Okay, yeah. The text is going to be way too fast for me to read. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm drifting deeper, deeper into sleep. Okay, but because like I kept inquiring about the thoughts, it, it, it was stopping me from sleeping. Interesting. Um... Hello. Why are there three eyeballs? Why is that? Hello? Last night, I think I dreamt about the huge tree again. Gloria's dream diary. Right. Strange characters forming Ill 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 illegible words. A drowning princess. Um, a ravenous mouth, mud, hard strikes. I thought she was going to say more mud, <laughs> mud and more mud. <laughs> um, Gloria, you are having a nightmare. <gasps> Gloria, you are having a nightmare. A prone body, a captive. A red blotch. Right. A puppet. Joy. A woman taken by force. Um. The disincarnation of a woman. Um. Does, does something happen with the curtains? Can I open the curtains? No? Yes? A storm is coming. Interesting. Right. Um! Uh, G Gloria! A puppet head. Tragic fate. Petrus, woman's flesh, nineteen eighty nine. Right. I can't believe I used to be proud of this. Disgusting. Right, okay, so, so, interesting, so I scream, and that's my attack, all right, scream, let's go, scream your heart out, baby, scream your heart out, oh, this is interesting, though, but this is super grotesque, wait, wait, but I screamed, Oh no, my vision. Oh no. Okay. Too late. What do you mean too late? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, what's this way? Wait, no, there was there was another way. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. What's this way? What's this way? Or there were multiple pathings. I think. Okay, but then what was the other way, though? Oh, I hate this game. Okay. I think it was just multiple pathings to the same spot. I'd like to know. <laughs> let's just say we're lucky. What do you mean, let's just say we're lucky? Okay, let's just leave him alone. <laughs> let's just leave that blob alone. <gasps> Joy! Ooh. Joy! So much matter? What do you mean so much matter? So much flesh. All right, this old man is in on it, dude. I have to like instantly attack, like instantly yell when I see those things pop up. I can't understand a word of it. How to make, how to make your loved one really what? That's the topic of tonight's special? Ah! Right. I think I have to go up this way? Yeah, okay. This is one trippy dream. One trippy dream. Tampons, bacon, vegetables. Yep, that's what I need for my grocery list. Wait! That was scripted, right? Cause I, I I was zooming. I was going speed. <laughs> Joy. Gloria, there you are. I've been looking for you. Listen, I need to tell you something. Back there in the room, a guy abused me. What? What did he do to you? No, you don't get it. Not to me, to my statue. But it was the same, Joy. I swear, it was the same. Exactly the same. Oh. I see. Typical Gloria. Always making a bigger deal out of everything than she needs to. Joy, that's not very nice. And it shouldn't matter so much to you. Considering the job you do? The job I do? So, Gloria? Who's talking? Is this Troy talking? Who's talking? Your statue, are you happy? She's, uh, true to life. You must be delighted. Then I'll go see it when it's less crowded. It's a weird feeling. How so? Well, it's like... Like... Never mind, forget it. I must admit, I was surprised you'd agreed to pose. You never listened to me, so I haven't said anything but... Mom... A statue highlights the sculpture, not the model. Everybody remembers Rodin, but not the poor man he forced to spend hours with his chin on his fist. And while your sculptor gets all the glory, you're wasting your mouth, er, you're wasting your youth and your potential in that sordid place. Mom! See, that went by a little, slightly too fast. I was, I was in the middle of reading that miss. <laughs> Gloria, darling, you are a dancer. Your body, your body is your livelihood. You work hard to maintain it, but... 
well, you know what I mean. I remember what it's like. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't try to evolve, you'll end up in trouble, and sooner than you think. What makes you think that I don't take care of my career? Why? Is there some sort of news, darling? Yeah, there is. There's a new project. An artistic one. Another statue? No, not at all. An international show. One where I'm in control. Well, isn't that something? And with what money, exactly? Money from the St. Louis Foundation. The St. Louis Foundation, like the St. Louis Group? Precisely. Herb St. Louis is a rather significant patron of the arts and my most enthusiastic admirer. You should have seen the flower uh, arrangement he sent me. It was massive. And where did he approach you? By the exit of your cabaret one evening? Of course not. I met him at a cocktail party. Gloria, it may not happen often, but I have to say that I'm impressed. We're considering about a world tour. Tokyo, New York. Herb trusts me completely. I should call his assistant back, by the way. As soon as possible. Right, I, I don't think that's a good idea, Gloria. Black Swan Cabaret, 7 o'clock p.m. I don't think that's a good idea. At all. Aldo, you're doing auditions? You didn't tell me. Hey, Gloria. Didn't Stephanie fill you in? You didn't ask me to, sir. Okay, well, yeah, um, I'm glad you're here. Should I ask the candidate to stop for, to stop for a minute? No, we've got to see so many others. There's no time. You wanted to talk to me? Listen, Gloria. You're our most experienced dancer here, and the hardest working one. And therefore, I get a raise? <laughs> Funny. And that's not the point right now. Gloria, I want you to become the Black Swan's head coach. The what now? Let me explain. Next year, we're moving up from five to eight or even ten dancers. Oh, okay, that's 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 a, a big upgrade. The new ones, heck, even the current ones need some training. They look cute on stage, but their technique? And let's just say they haven't exactly come straight out of Noirives. So I thought about you. You can manage them, train them. Also, training dancers is a massive workload. Adding that to my own dance practice? I don't think it's possible. Not adding to, Gloria. Replacing. Wait, what do you mean? Well, there's no need to kill yourself on stage if you're the head coach full time, is there? But you've earned a little rest and security, Gloria. I don't want to be benched. I want to stay on stage, Aldo. This is my life. Next year and the year after that, and... Gloria. You know you have to pass the torch someday. You've been on stage for nine years. I'm not even 30, Aldo. Better even. You'll be a, a hip head coach who is close to who is close to her dancers. You'll get the you'll get the hang of managing others pretty quickly, you'll see. Aldo Now now, you're all right. I'm begging you. When you've had some time to think about it, you'll thank me. I don't think she's gonna thank you. I don't think, I, th this is, wow. Gloria's building 8 o'clock p.m. Gloria, that is upsetting.
Tout dépend de toi. Ooh, tout dépend de toi. Ooh, I'm probably saying it wrong. <laughs> Oh, I love the French music in this. I wonder if my neighbors check my door too. I'm nosy as hell. I'm checking everybody's doors. <laughs> Hello? Oh, okay. <gasps> Joy! Joy? Sorry for showing up unannounced. No, I'm glad you did. Why didn't you wait inside? Don't you have the key I gave you? I do. You haven't even opened the... You... It's not just about the key. Gloria, listen. Um, you are not going to break up with uh, Gloria Joy. See, this is... Oh, she's, she's gonna break up. I'm calling it. She's gonna break up with her. Go for it. I've been listening a lot lately. It's about us. I, I knew it. She's gonna break up. I didn't even know the relationship like that. And I'm already like stressed. I'm already like stressed, stressed out, concerned. Why are you gonna break up with her? You're everything anyone could ever ask for. And you'll be someone's perfect partner someday. What do you mean someone's perfect partner? You, you are, she, she's the perfect partner for you. You are perfect together. Frankly, I had a great time with you these last three months. But here we are, heading for more. More than just a good time, and I don't see that for myself. I understand. So, please, take back the box. The key? It was lovely of you. Gloria! You have every right to be angry at me or sad. That'd be normal and expected. Angry? Me? What could I be possibly be angry about? That's the smile of, I hurt inside, everything's dead, I'm broken, I'm going to kill you if you don't walk away from me right now, face. That, that is that, that's the smile that she's exuding right now. All of this, me ending our relationship. How could I be angry at you? I have no right. She's angry. It's a relief, actually. We're so different. It would have never had led anywhere. Okay, Gloria, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Gloria, okay. Can you not fire the shade right back? Maybe, yeah. Anyway, go on. I'm sure you have classes to prepare for. Take care, Gloria. Gloria? Everything is fine. No, it's not. Gloria? Elle s'appelle What is going on? Hello? Good evening. It's Gloria DeBast. Gloria, a pleasure to hear from you. How are you doing? 
absolutely wonderful. I'd like to accept. Mr. St. Louis' proposal, I mean. The show, the tour, everything he wants from me, I accept. You shouldn't say everything he wants, because cause what if he wants something a bit more, hmm? Hello? Yes, my apologies. That's such wonderful news. A surprise, to be sure. Very well, Gloria. We will need to speed things along. I'll book a meeting with Mr. St. Louis. Let me check his agenda. Tomorrow morning, 7.30, at the park in the Boulong Woods. Baloney Woods. <laughs> Baloney Woods at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm going to call it Baloney Woods. <laughs> Baloney Woods at 7.30 in the morning? Yes. Mr. St. Louis loves the tranquility of the place at dawn. Will that be, uh, will that be a problem for you? Not at all. It's perfect. You're going to need directions. Listen carefully. At the end of the main alley, there is a path on the right which cuts through the woods. Right, okay. Um, see, I'm, I'm, I'm out of time here, so I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. <laughs> and we will continue off this episode right at this spot. <laughs> but this is getting very interesting very interesting i like how this game is highlighting a lot of like just emotional trauma and things like that and just manifesting that and um this is gonna be a very interesting game i'm really actually enjoying this a lot i uh, i'm very mad that joy and gloria separated that's that's a bit annoying screw aldo for putting her on the bench at least let her do one more year so she can have like like oh my god 10 years and then like after 10 years she can have like a celebration and then like retire or something like that would be a nice parting way 10 is a better number than nine <laughs> but so much stuff is just happening in such a short amount of time and i think we're still in like this first chapter so like this whole thing is just jam-packed with content and i'm really excited to see the rest of this game <laughs> but if you enjoyed this playthrough please let me know in the comments below and i'll go ahead and continue on <laughs> otherwise thank you guys so 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 much for joining me on this episode hope you have an awesome day and i will see you in the next one Bye bye.